right, that's us on our last day now. Good morning, right, I'll just show you this one. Our last day now, and we're just heading down to Arica. Our last stop over till home tomorrow. But look at this, I had to stop and show you this. Look at them moody skies and that flat look. That is stunning. Look at that. Views like that take some beating, I tell you. Beautiful, absolutely stunning.
well, we've just arrived here. Glenloin camp, uh, Glen campsite, caravan site uh, at Loch Long, Haraka. We're just getting set up. Nice little pitch here. Some nice statics there. Lovely woods and all up behind you. And the surrounding mountains. I think across the other side is the Ben Cobbler. Um, little petrol station just here. You've got your lovely, there's a lady who owns it, Vivian McTavish. Our mum used to own it before this. Our mum used to own it. Um, McTavish's campsite, we always used to call it. I've been coming here since I was five year old, believe it or not. It's been a while since I was here. I used to come a lot with my father. Um, bless his soul. But it's a nice little site. Um, it's only six amp electric. But you've got the little wood building there. There's a cafe and everything there. You've got your... Um, garage and everything there. Yeah. So we're going to have a walk along uh, Arica now and we'll take you with us. Right, so I think the chemical toilet's up that way on. Um, so we'll have a look there. We're just having a walk around down to the village now. And we'll have a little look around there. This, like I've just been seeing the guild, one of my old stamping ground. Like, I've been coming here, well, 50 years so. Well, not for 50 years, but it was over 50 years ago, the first time I came here. But, canny little place. Um, I think that's the cobbler up there, with the nasty clouds over the top. Uh, yeah. Ben Arthur, or the cobbler. Nice statics around there. This is the, um, the little coffee I was seeing about earlier. Vivian who runs it, she started off uh, when she, I think when she took over from her mum and everything, Mrs. old Mrs. McTavish, she started just with like a little burger van here and then built it up to this. Uh, she's got the petrol station there, you've got nice parking at the top here, it's all chargeable, like you've got to pay for your parking up there. Um, just run across this road before we get knocked over and we, as you can see we're just at the head a lot long. Uh, looking down the lock towards like Helensborough and the Clyde. Spent many a deer in that lock fishing, catching nothing yeah, as ever. Bells. Aye, bluebells and nice little. Aye, it's just a wonder. Aye, so as I see, it's a nice little place. I was just seeing the gale, there was a bloke up where he used to rent um, boats out years ago. But he was about 38 then, 40. And I was saying that was like 30, what did I say, 40, 30, 40 years ago. It'd be like 80 old now. I'll just show you here. Um, there's, I don't think you'll make it out on here, but right down there, there's like a pier thing off. I think that's the old torpedo ranges where they used to do the test torpedoes and stuff. And further round, you've got the fueling place for the um, navy ships and stuff like that. And there's a lot of waste here, isn't ah, it? washed up, isn't it? Lots washed up oh. on the beach there. Aye, must have had some winds and tides, bad tides and that. You got the long, lot long hotel up there on the left hand side. Non residents welcome. Do a lot of bus trips and stuff there. Further along, you've got the Cobblers Hotel, if it's still called that, I'm not sure. Non residents welcome there as well. Both nice hotels just to go in and have a drink and stuff. Um, further up here, I'll show you, you've got Ben Arthur's Boothy, I think it's called now. It used to be called the Moorings. Just a pub, get something to eat in there, nice. And I think there's a fish and chip on the right as well now. There's a little village shop here, but I don't think this is open now. But here's another shop along the road while you bits and pieces in. You see, you've got your fish and chips there. You see the back of the Lot Long Hotel there. Little rental cottage there, and you've got a lovely little tea room here. So, it's parking at the back there, but this is, uh, it used to be called the Moorins. I think it's called Ben Arthur's Bothy now. Um, looks like you've got seating areas at the back, but the seating area up. I think as you come out at the back, you can sit, sit out and look over the lock. I think they do food and everything. We'll have a little look later. Oh, that's my passing. So, you know, all your food and all that. Little seating areas there and little seating areas further down there. So you can sit down there and look out at the lock and stuff like that. But I think it is going to rain because that's looking a bit nasty up there. It's following Gail about. I wish I'd bought me Bolly. <laughs> <laughs> so that is Ben Arthur's Bothy. Or the Moons, as I knew it was. As. Little rest, uh, not a restaurant, or what do you call it? Like a bed and breakfast there, guest house. Uh, I always thought that looked a nice guest house, yeah. I mean, practically everywhere you're on here, it's either looking across the lock or down the lock. 
and that was the seating area. I'm not sure if that seating area is for the guests of the. You know what? I think that locks the locks I might belong to Ben Arthur's posse and all. Mm -hmm. It's starting to rain. You got on the left here. You got some sh little shops here. Um, there's one sells all your bits of fish and tattle, little bits of hardware and stuff if you need them and all that, and sweets and crisps and all that. But this is a road, if you're coming down from Tarbot, you'll come down this road here, um, and you drive through a little village. If you carry on along this way, hello, if you carry on along this way, you've got Arica Hotel. I said the Cobbler's Hotel, didn't I? The Cobbler. I think it used to be called the Cobbler's Hotel. Um, not long hotel land there and Arica Hotel here. I think this used to be called the Cobbler. I might be wrong there, like, but um, yeah, you've got a lovely little cottage there. What's it called? Uh, Round Tree. Round Tree Bank. Bank. No, like Owen, you know. Um, there's a little on the back of the. This, there used to be, I don't know if it's still but on the back of this hotel there's a little bar just around the back there. Alright. Can get a little bit rough, but it was okay. It's just one down there. It's a um, it used to be the down there where the oh. car is. It used to be public toilets oh. and stuff. I'm not sure what it is now. This jetty here that you can see here. Um, I was just seeing the girl earlier in Victorian times. The Victorians used to love coming visiting here, up from Glasgow and Air and all that. And the steamboats and that used to come in here, take the tours out and bring them up and down and all that stuff and all that malarkey. But uh, I mean you can see them now, there's nothing actually left of them now, that, uh, the piers and stuff like that. But the fellow I was on about who used to hire the boats out, uh, Tony used to either, I don't know if it was this one or further down, he used to hire the boats out. But views wise, beautiful. If you look along there, it looks absolutely stunning. Apart from that cloud, and the rain's just starting, um, we'll probably just get round this corner and then we'll have to head start heading back up. But as you go down this road, it's quite a walk down, but as you go down, if it's still there, there's another pub called, it used to be called the Village Pub, or the Village Inn, not sure if it's still there. I think they were doing the radials and stuff like that. Um, never been in for years again, so I'm not even sure if it's still there, but I think it is. That's this road here. If you carry on on this road, it'll take you to. It'll take you past the um, naval base where the fuel the boats up the RFE uh, boats and stuff like that. And um, eventually, it'll bring you out at Helensborough. But it is a busy. Uh, well, it's an up and down road, very up and down and twisty and bendy and small road. Um, <laughs> Oh, twisty, yeah? Oh, it's getting that one in. Um, looks like a little coffee stall there. Well, it's blocks outside, but that's all shut. And the building, the big building on the... Oh, yes, take away. The big building on the left there it used to be public toilets, but I don't know what it is now. We'll just walk down, have a little look. I'll just show you there's the Arica Hotel there. coffees and burgers and stuff not open at the moment so this what I've just said what used to be the um, public toilets and that looks like it's been converted into some kind of bistro just show you this I reckon through the years there little look the old steam train used to come along because you've got the tracks just up the road there Anyway, we're not too odds. Oh, it's just a village community hall, girl. What's here, there? So they must run a little coffee shop or something in it sometimes. Um, there's nothing to see you. Nothing to see you can't overnight. I'm just having a look now, see what it says. You can park here. Suggested donations: one pound an hour, five pound all day. No overnight part. No, no overnighting. You can't overnight, Gail. Gail looks like a burglar over there, doesn't she? She looks like she's going to burgle the place. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 
getting a clip next. A lovely heron just on the side there. I don't know if you can see it carrying crow down there, but there's a heron there. Looks like it, yep, just taken off there. Look at that. They look lovely in flight, don't they? I don't know if this will pick it up, but they do look gorgeous in flight. Must be looking for his tea. Oh, he's away again. It's funny, he keeps looking at Gail and then flying away. So you got that little restaurant there, rest and be thankful restaurant. Years ago, years ago, that corner of it there where the black thing is, with a little window, was made into a little fish shop. And I was telling Gail once I got some fish and chips out of there, and when I got back to the caravan who opened me fish and chips, it was a little flatty with some breadcrumbs on. <laughs> Never known out like it. That was a long time ago though. It's a shame the front of that restaurant looks nice from the side as you walk down. It just looks a little bit tired there, doesn't it? Now water, it's got to get wood board up against the windows down there. Unless it's just the upstairs. Maybe it's just the upstairs or something. Rear side stores while you bits and pieces. Oh, there's a cash 8 a.m. there as well. Got a bus stop here. I think you can get the bus here. And it'll take you all the way to Inverary. It's a long way to Inverary. <laughs> 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 and be thankful and all that. Carry on. Anyway, we're going to pop in this uh, Ben Arthur's, a couple of pints, so we can get some food on the go. I was kicking and screaming, saying, oh, no, I didn't want a pint. And look, the is in again. <laughs> nice menu, that. Do the cowboy one, what you've just told us, Gil. Why the cowboys ride horses? <laughs> Because they're too heavy to carry. <laughs> and she's only had one little tip. <laughs> Food's turned up. Look at this one. Oh, look at that. Ben Arthur's Bothy's Burger. Bacon, black pudding, burger, cheese, everything on it. Gail's got one as well and she's stuffing it right in her mush. You'll get that in your mouth, no problem whatsoever. Out the window, Ben Arthur's Bothy. Gil was just saying, I don't know if you can get them out on here, but up there, bluebells all the way up the side of the mountain now. Just before it hits the trees there. Look at that one. I think we're worth places to have a pint and a few where uh, something made. Ben Arthur's Bothy. Arata. Pop in and give it a try. So, been in Ben Arthur's booty. Had something to eat. Absolutely lovely. Come on along. The tide's just going out now. So, we'll have a wander in. I remember when they put all these up. I remember when the, all these was put up, Gail. See these wooden things and that. Years ago. The carvings. I remember when all put up I some lovely so bluebells along here. Um, <coughs> let's see how the tide's just going out. There must have had some really bad weather and all that way because look at all the stuff up Gil was saying earlier and all being washed up. I don't know if you're still out there, eh, but if you do fish, ragworm up there, easy digging, and there's loads of it, or don't they used to be. Your thingy net yet, though, because you'll break your leg, won't you, Paul? Aye, aye. Don't get junk, come out fishing on the night time. <laughs> Fish at the top of the lock, cast out, and there's no water there. Don't do that. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> anyway, we're just having to wander along here. So, back at the campsite there, just behind there is where we parked. So, you've got the little cafe there, the garage. Um, the entrance to the campsite is just where you can see that one going in there, you see the van going in there. And then you've got this big car park at the top here. And then what they've done, I mean, I can't remember where they've done it, but I'm sure you had a little bridge, but there wasn't much of a car park over that side, but it's all been extended now, so it's a lot larger the car park and everything there. Yeah. I think you get a lot of people parking in that one to go walking up in the mountains and stuff like that. But let's have a little look down the lock there. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Got this um, this car parking space at the top here. I'm sure there's no other park night parking here, but you've got loose toilets at the top here. It's right at the head of the lock. 
Hey. Oh, not little honesty box for the toilet there. You've got an electric charge point there. Loads of parts, car parking space. I'm, sh I'm almost sure, I might be wrong, but I'm almost sure you can't overnight here. Um, there you are, honesty. Seen Point yet, for then. the toilet, no. <laughs> and you're not waiting outside the toilets to watch men coming out, Gil. Yeah. <laughs> this man's got his safety hat on. Aye. That's because it's kind of far away, isn't it? <laughs> uh, there's a little river here, and I'm sure with this river, I tried to walk it once and never got there, it was too overgrown. But it it's goes like to a little, a little, I think it was, it goes to a little uh, lock or lock sloy, which is way up in the hills there but that was a long time ago and I tried to walk there and I never got there so another one of the little carvings there little monkey yeah, we'll do it, now. it was all overgrown I couldn't get up with it, oh, but it might have pulled down by now, Paul. no and it's two miles it's about five miles anyway you've got the little bridge here as I see the tide's going out now I'll show you this side I was just telling Gil once I come here when I was a young and I was waiting about in here, just plodging about and all that and there was loads and loads and loads of baby flatfish in this little river here Back in the deer, they all changed now Somebody's lost a watch Gil said Oh yes, there's a cart here walk along here, we're going to head over to the other car park, have a little look there and then head back. Another carving here. Another little monkey I think. That looks more like a person. A person's feet. So we're just looking up now, I think, like I said earlier, that's Ben Arthur or the cobbler and I'm just trying to see if you can make it out on here but all across here is all bluebells and then all up there is all bluebells. You can, from the naked eye you can see it, but I'm just not sure if it'll pick it up on the um, GoPro. But you've got a little village here, and up there, Gail, I think it's called Solith or Sutleth or something like that. Can you walk up to that? Yeah, uh, I think so, but there's nothing there. Uh, we'll have a little look on it. walk along like the, the river. Right, so we're just across the other side now. So you've got the first hotel there, and then as you come down, that's Ben Arthur's bossy, what we've just been in. And then walk further down, you've got the second one, hotel. And then you've got further down that little uh, town hall thing. Now the village pub I was on about is down round about here somewhere. If it's still open, but I'm not sure. But that's all down the other side. It's another little carving here. That's a link sat. Uh, and you've got like lovely walks on along here which takes you into Argyle Forest Park you've got some tiny little mini <laughs> parking beers for I'm standing one girl it's for me um, what do you call it Zimmer for you no. tiny little parking me. beers motor home parking beers motorised <laughs> scooter scooter I should be getting one of them soon wouldn't you yeah So we're just going up this bit of a path up the... Gail thinks we're heading to the Ben Cobbler, but we're not. I'm just going to go a little way up. Thank you, darling. Yeah. <laughs> I'll work me burger off. The lovely bluebells. Let's see through the trees. Right, so we've had a couple of pints, something to eat. We've had a lovely, lovely walk around. I've been reminiscing a little bit. Happy, happy memories here. And I think we're just going to call that one a day. We're going to be heading back to the motor home, chilling out, and then back home tomorrow. Back to the grind. No! Yeah, I'll be crying tomorrow on the way home. I know. Anyway, pleasure.
please if you're enjoying the videos we need the subscribers we need you to watch all the videos just to help the channel if you can pop over to buy us a coffee check that out if you can support the channel like we are great if not keep watching watch all the back channel watch everything we've got like button subscribe let us know what you think and comment well and if you've been here um even in the past in the 70s when it was a here dear for fishing and everything let us know in the comments <laughs> that's all good <laughs> and with that watch she's sneezing away yeah? we'll catch us all soon thanks for watching everybody cheers now bye bye bye